I know you don't want to use the same design every time and want to create something new from scratch. In this video, I will show you how to create a clean photo slides animation in DaVinci Resolve for your photo memories. This is going to be from scratch even for absolute beginners. Hey everyone, this is Vikas Kumar from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's go. Alright, so this is the Vinci Resolve 18.6 and all you have to do the basic setting first. So click on the setting button in the corner and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. Select a frame rate. So in this case, I'm using 30 frames per second. Click on save. Now let's import any image or video file that we want to use in this project. So just go to the media pool, right click on that, click on import media and select any image or video file. So in this case, I'm using this image, select that image and click on open drag and drop the image on the timeline like this and make it seven second long just like this and after that fit the image inside of this frame so just go to inspector window here we have the zoom hold control and increase the zoom value you can place the image in the center like this and after that just right click on this image click on new fusion clip and then just go to the fusion page here we have the media in and out so just reattach media in and out drag and drop the media into the viewer to get a preview we need only one viewer so click on the single viewer select the media in add a transform with it drag and drop the transform to the viewer go to inspector window and here we have the center just right click on center go to modify with and select this modifier p-trub just go to modifiers and here we have the x scale and the y scale you can play the animation we have something like this so here we have to set the scale value something around 0 0.03 in the x scale and 0 0.03 in y scale perfect now we have to fill the blank area so this is the transform select that node go to tools and here we have the edges just select this option mirror perfect and then we have to animate one more thing just select the transform go to the end of this animation right click on size click on animate you can also click on the diamond button to create a keyframe and then just go to very first frame of this animation let's increase the scale value set the value 1.2 perfect so we have zoom out as well as camera sake effect on the image which is looking nice and after that we have to create matte so this is the background drag and drop the background on the flow window and you can see here we have a black background you can attach a rectangle with the background like this and this background is going to be the matte so select the background right click on that click on rename or you can also hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and call it matte and after that we have to animate the rectangle so select the rectangle go to frame number 60 which is equal to two second here we have the width value so Let's increase the width and set the value 1.5 and this is the height. Let's increase the height and set the value 1.01. Just right click on angle, click on animate, right click on height, click on animate. Go to very first frame of this animation, select the rectangle, set the angle value 90 degree. And this is the height, let's set the height 0. So here we have something like this. So this animation is very basic let's make it smoother just go to a spline window check the height and angle hit f4 to full screen click on fit button highlight all the keyframes hit s to smooth and let's do one by one just select the height only highlight this point hold this handle and place the handle right over here and create a smooth graph just like that and do the same thing with the angle close the spline window and then you can see here we have nice and smooth animation perfect now let's use this mat for the image drag and drop the merge node over here connect the background point with this mat foreground point with this transform one and drag and drop the merge one to the viewer select the merge go to inspector window and this is the operator change this option over to in here we have something like this perfect and after that select these two nodes hit ctrl c to copy hit ctrl v to paste we have to rename these nodes properly so select the node hit f2 let's call it rectangle 1a 
and this is gonna be the stroke hit ok and after that we have to merge this stroke with this main output so take a new merge node connect the background point with this one foreground point with this stroke drag and drop the merge to the viewer select the stroke select the color pure white hit ok and this is the rectangle select the second rectangle uncheck the solid box and this is the border width let's increase the value i'm going to set the value 0 0.001 hit enter perfect now we have border around the edges as you can see so select these node hit ctrl c to copy hit ctrl v to paste over here so this is the second copy and now we have to paste one more click over here hit ctrl v to paste and this is the third copy perfect and we have to rename these nodes properly so basically this is the rectangle one and this is going to be the rectangle two so i'm going to call it rectangle two this is going to be rectangle two a hit ok and this is the third one select the rectangle i'm going to call it rectangle three and this is going to be rectangle three a hit ok so we have first layer the second layer and the third layer perfect and we will use same input for all the layers so connect the output of this transform with this foreground point of this merge node and repeat the same thing for this one like this you can add a junction just like that perfect let's do some setting with the first layer so this is the first layer drag and drop a color corrector node over here hold shift and connect this color corrector over here just like that and go to the inspector window and this is the saturation let's down the saturation and set the value 0.5 and make it like this you can change the color of this so just go to blue channel you can increase the gain value like this and make it yellowish just a little bit perfect and we have to blur this image so what we have to do create a space over here like this hold control plus a space bar for search box and search for gaussian blur so this is the gaussian blur select that node hit add button hold shift and connect this gaussian blur right over here so it will affect the first layer like this as you can see and you can change the strength if you want but this is looking nice before we proceed further with the tutorial i just want to take a few seconds and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better video faster with envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your digital projects and create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind envato elements will enhance any project while saving your time efforts and money get unlimited downloads with envato elements and start creating today all the links given in the description just check it out and after that this is the second layer you can drag and drop to the viewer as you can see we have normal image after that let's connect a color corrector node over here so this is the color corrector drag and drop hold shift on the keyboard and attach this color corrector right over here go to the inspector window and set the saturation zero and make it black and white perfect and we have to connect one more color corrector node right over here for the third layer so take a new color corrector hold shift and connect this color corrector like this and here we have the saturation this time we have to increase the saturation but first of all we have to drag and drop this uh, output over here you can increase the color just a little bit i'm going to set the value 1.1 in the saturation perfect and now we have to merge all the layers so what we have to do let's take a new merge node this is the first layer so i'm going to use this layer as a background connect the background point with this one and we have a foreground point so i'm going to use this layer as a foreground for this one so connect the foreground point with this one and drag and drop to the viewer as you can see it's looking like this now let's merge this one so take another merge node connect the background point with this merge foreground point with this one 
and drag and drop to the viewer now it's looking like this and after that we have to create a time gap between each layers so just go to spline window hit f4 to full screen first of all we have to uncheck all the nodes perfect now we have to leave the rectangle 1 and 1a as it is and we have to select the rectangle 2 and rectangle 2a perfect click on fit button highlight all the keyframes like this and move all the keyframes just a little bit forward in this case place the keyframes on the frame number 8 so hold this point hold shift and drag it over here perfect now let's go to 8 frame forward in time uncheck the second one check the third layer so this is a rectangle 3 and 3a highlight all the keyframes and move these keyframes on the frame number 16 and now you can see here we have something like this close the spline window perfect now let's create a drop shadow for the first layer and the second layer so search for drop shadow so this is the drop shadow effect hit add button hold shift and connect this drop shadow for the first layer like this and you can see the effect before and after this is the drop distance let's set the drop distance 0 and this is the strength you can set the strength value 0.3 or 0.2 maybe perfect so we have drop shadow effect just a little bit as you can see and after that let's apply the same drop shadow effect for the second layer so select this one hit ctrl c to copy hit ctrl v to paste another copy this is going to be the drop shadow 2 and hold shift on the keyboard and attach this drop shadow right over here and you can see the drop shadow effect over here on the second layer before and after before and after perfect and after that we have to create a text over here so what we have to do just go right over here add a text node take a new merge node hold shift and connect this merge right over here we will get this green foreground point connect this point with this text go to the inspector window and type here whatever you like you can select your favorite font style so in this case i am using courier new font style you can use any font style that you like set it bold and here we have the tracking let's down the tracking amount i'm going to set the amount maybe 0.96 perfect and this is the line spacing let's down the line spacing value i'm going to set the value 0.82 and you can align it to the left side like this and uh, place the text right over here you can uh, down the sides just a little bit i'm going to set the value 0.06 maybe and you can place the text over here perfect now we have to animate the text layer so just copy this transform paste it over here by hitting ctrl v this is going to be the second transform so i'm going to call it transform 2 hold shift on the keyboard and attach this transform with the text you can see here now we have the same animation on the text layer so let's make it different select the transform go to modifier here you can change the x scale and y scale value so let's change the value and set it 0.08 and 0.08 perfect now we have something like this perfect i'm going to apply one more effect for the text so just copy the drop shadow effect from here and paste it over here by hitting ctrl v this is going to be the third drop shadow so i'm going to call it drop shadow 3 hit ok hold shift and connect this drop shadow just like this perfect now you can increase the strength of the shadow i'm going to set the value 0.3 maybe you can see before and after you can add a junction to create a nice and simple node construction by holding alt on the keyboard now you can connect the media out with the main output and this is we have the node tree after that what we have to do just keep the media in and out to the side highlight all the nodes just like that just leave the media in and out right click on that 
go to setting click on save as select any location so in this case i'm using picture i'm going to call it photo slide so click on save and then just go to edit page and here we have the first slide now you can add a white background for the first slide place the fusion clip on the second layer go to effect go to generators and here we have the solid color let's drag and drop the solid color on the timeline and drag it like this after that you can change the color of this i'm going to select the white color and now this is the first slide as you can see here and after that let me show you how you can create multiple slides it's very simple i'm gonna import a new image or video file so in this case i'm gonna select um, this image click on open drag and drop the image on the timeline and placed it over here like this and we have to fit the image like this and then right click on this image click on new fusion clip select that clip and placed it on five seconds and then place the CTI on the second fusion clip and then go to the fusion page Deattach media in and out place the media out right over here and media in right over here go to the folder and drag and drop the photo slide so setting over here perfect you can connect the media out with the main output and this is the media in uh, let's connect the media in with this transform like this and then you can change the text so select the text type anything whatever you like you can place the text anywhere you want like this and then go to the edit page and here we have the second slide all right and after that we have to apply some effect on it so just go to project window right click on that click on import media i'm going to use this light leak and atmospheric particles click on open this is the particles drag and drop on the timeline you can remove the audio place the atmospheric particle right over here and I'm going to select the particles, go to inspector window and change this composite mode and select this option screen. Perfect. Now we have atmospheric particles on the slideshow and you can also use light leak effect. So drag and drop the light leak on the timeline. You can select the light leak, go to composite mode and select this option screen. So here we have this type of light leak effect. And you can create multiple copy of this light leak hold alt on the keyboard and place it for the second one like this by using this technique you can create multiple slides that you want now let's have a look click on the loop button go to very first frame of this animation hit ctrl f to full screen and let's have a look and that's a wrap for today's video i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and got the value from it if you did please subscribe to this channel like this video and also comment below if you have any questions or thoughts my name is vikas kumar and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye